Okay, in this video, we're gonna be discussing the Pandora's box and how to use it and navigate. Um, so big thing to keep in mind is that the Pandora's boxes are always set to coin play. This way, the actual very nice kind of attract mode, it'll kind of bounce. Um, if it was set to free play, it would just continuously show this video. So it is set to coin. Basically right now, if I try to push any buttons or move the joysticks, nothing happens that is because there is no coin press your coin button or insert a coin if you have a coin door now they have a coin you will be able to navigate as you can see hitting the joystick i could navigate so there are 4500 games on this ranging from arcade to a couple of consoles like the super nintendo this does have psp games in it a lot of stuff in it again 4500 games got n64 stuff too also in it a couple of things to note as far as when you do actually pick a game, let's just kind of randomly pick a game if we want. Um, we'll try this. Oh, Street Fighter, awesome. When you are ready to pick a game, button one, and it will enter. You could press start. If you do want to add more people to it, you insert more coins. When you insert more coins, you're going to get a screen that says credits, and you're going to press player two start. You can bring player two in and all that. So you could play and such. If you're done playing your game, you could either leave the system alone for three minutes and it'll automatically exit, or you hold down player one start, you're gonna get this little menu after about three seconds, and you see there it says button B for exit. So again, it kind of disappeared. I'm gonna hold down button one, we got that. Second button is B, exit. Awesome. We have three credits so I could still navigate the screen. And you'll kind of learn the logo. So the F and the M is RK. That's Final Burn Alpha and MAME. As you can see, there's a couple of Street Fighters, a couple of fast ones and stuff. You even got King of Fighters going on, Fatal Fury, and such. A lot of games, a lot of games. Now, big thing to note is that once you put a coin in, you have a timer here. After the timer runs to zero, it will automatically just pick this game. So keep that in mind. After 90 seconds, it will automatically pick a game. So again, Let's play some Super Street Fighter. Um, I'm gonna press button one and it will load. Awesome. I don't wanna play anymore. Holding down player one start. We got that menu, button B, and we are back. Now what's great about these Pandora's boxes is that they do have tabs at the top. So right now we're kind of in this area. For you to jump to the tab, you press player one start. If you press player one start, it actually jumps to the search, but I'm at the top now. So I could go left and I could check out my recently playlist. I could go to category, it breaks it down by category, or all the games. So if you do want to decide to go to search, and let's say we want to play some Galaga, you have the keyboard here where you could actually type out your stuff. So using the player one joystick and actually player two also, you could use both joysticks. You go to your letter, you press button one, is like your enter, so you're gonna type out Galaga. So G-A, if you do make a mistake, your back arrow is erase. That's how you erase the letter. So if I go to G-A-L, and you'll see, it'll make systems. We do have actually a couple that loaded, and hey, Galaga, awesome. There are a couple of versions of Galaga, as you can see. I'm just gonna pick this one, which is regular Galaga. Button one to enter, awesome. I could press player one start and good to go if you do have the dedicated four-way from me this control is perfect for galaga that is why we put the dedicated four-way and also for games like pac-man so as you can see we are enjoying both joysticks and having fun again we are done playing the game hold down button one brings up the menu and b to exit awesome that's honestly your basics the next step really is that this also does console. So you will see games on the left. If I go to category, if I go to category real quick, while I'm here, if I press left on the joystick, it will jump the different systems. So PSP, PlayStation 1, N64. This is like the Super Nintendo. So we're gonna load up the Super Nintendo real quick. We'll do some Battletoads, why not? Button one to enter and we'll let the game load. So the big thing to know about these kind of systems is that they don't take quarters. If you press start, it actually says time is remaining. As you can see, four minutes. So this is an actual system. This never took quarters. 
it's an actual like NES. So if you wanted to add more time, you press your coin. And when you press your coin, you can see a bunch of credits, but if you press start, it still says four minutes remaining. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down player one start, and it says there button A is to insert a coin. And as you can see now, nine minutes. So you have to hold down player one start and insert the coin. That's honestly it. That is how you work your Pandora's box. Now, if you're done playing, I do highly suggest that you exit, going back to the main menu. And now that you're here, you could literally just come up to your system and turn it off. That is it. That is how you use your Pandora's box.